Does contraceptive use influence women's libido? What are the sexual differences between men and women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Some women report changes in libido as a side effect of hormonal contraceptives, although this varies. Some may experience an increase in sexual desire, while others may experience a decrease. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional about contraceptive options that best suit individual needs. Biologically, there are differences in sexual organs and hormone production between men and women. However, it is crucial to remember that differences among individuals of the same gender are often greater than differences between genders in terms of sexual preferences and behaviors. Adventure and free spirit. Some women are attracted to men who are adventurous and willing to try new things. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Male anorgasmia, anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Association with stigma. Although society has evolved in terms of sexual acceptance, anal sex can still be associated with stigmas. Education and openness can help challenge these stigmas. Bioluminescence, some marine organisms like certain jellyfish and deep sea fish can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Communication. After the act, after the experience, it's important to talk about how both parties felt. Open communication can strengthen intimacy and mutual understanding. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interested in sex. Erectile dysfunction and performance anxiety. Performance anxiety can contribute to erectile dysfunction in men. Fear of not being able to satisfy a partner can negatively impact erectile function. Diversity of fantasies. Each person has unique sexual fantasies. Some are attracted to the idea of threesomes, while others may fantasize about domination or submission scenarios. Online sexual education has gained popularity and serves as an accessible source of information on sexual health, diversity, and relationships. The effect of light on arousal. Ambient light can influence sexual arousal. Some people may feel more comfortable and secure with dim lighting, while others prefer total darkness. The choice depends on individual preferences. Effects on the body. During a male orgasm, muscles contract and semen is released. This fluid release is part of the reproductive process and may contain sperm for fertilization. Eroticism in literature, erotic literature, has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Evolution of sexual tolerance. Society has undergone an evolution in sexual tolerance. What was once considered taboo is now more accepted, promoting greater openness regarding sexual diversity. 
Dominance and submission fantasies are common in human sexuality. Some people enjoy dominant roles, while others prefer submissive roles in sexual relationships. Common fetishes. While fetishes vary widely, some are quite common. This includes attraction to feet, sexy lingerie, or BDSM, involving domination and submission. Focus on mutual pleasure. Like in any sexual activity, focusing on mutual pleasure and the well-being of both parties is essential for a positive experience. Health professionals, it is always advisable to speak with health professionals for specific information about sexual health and receive personalized guidance. The importance of foreplay. Foreplay is essential for a satisfying sexual experience. Emotional and physical stimulation before sexual activity can increase arousal and intimacy. The sexual toy industry has experienced a boom in recent years with a wide variety of products designed to enhance sexual pleasure and intimacy for couples. The influence of the moon. Some people believe that the moon's phase can influence libido and sexual behavior. Although lacking solid scientific evidence, this belief persists in some cultures. Influence of alcohol on sex Alcohol can affect sexual function in various ways. While it may lower inhibitions, excessive alcohol can hinder erection in men and arousal in women. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Relationship. Between depression and decreased sexual desire, depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. Myths about virginity. There are many myths surrounding virginity, such as the belief that breaking the hymen is a sure sign of virginity loss. In reality, virginity is a social and cultural construct. Multiple orgasms. Unlike men, many women can have multiple orgasms in a single sexual session without a refractory period. This means they can have several orgasms in succession without needing a break. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Orgasm and pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm without stimulation. While less common, some women may experience orgasms without physical stimulation, solely through mental or emotional arousal, sometimes called a brain orgasm. Female orgasm and the clitoris. The clitoris is a highly sensitive organ that plays a central role in the female orgasm. Direct stimulation of the clitoris is key for many women to achieve orgasm. Oxytocin and emotional bonding. Oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.